What? What's going on? <coughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and today I have a vlog for you guys. I'm going to be going pond fishing as well. Something very excited to bring you guys. As you guys know the past couple of like three or four days I've been sick. I know I got a beard guys. I know I've literally just been super sick. Yesterday felt a lot better. Um, like a new person. Today I feel a lot better. Um, I'm feeling, you know, I'm still, you know, I still got all that up in me but I'm not like I don't have a virus I'm not I'm not infect I don't have an infection right now I can tell um, I can tell I just have really really bad sinuses and you know still with the ears and nose and throat just a little bit slightly um, Wednesday I literally physically couldn't move out of my bed um, I tried to stand up a few times ago and get myself some water and I almost fell to the ground like I was so weak and I was so I literally I, did, I didn't hit the gym I didn't do anything I couldn't do anything and I'm just gonna let you guys know that was the most, most frustrating, I believe, day of my life I've had so far. Um, knowing that I had so much to do and I wanna get stuff done and the type of person I am is a go, go, go person. And the fact that I physically couldn't do it was just the worst thing ever. So that just showed me like, be thankful for everything, you know, that I get to do every single day. Even, even that is working, even though it's grinding every single day, be thankful for that. Like I'm allowed to do that. Cause I physically like couldn't get out of bed to do that. And it really, it really put something on me and I was like, wow, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for everything I get to do, but enough of that guys, let's go ahead and hit the gas, <clears throat> let's hit the gas station and grab some gas and then we'll be going to meet up a few people. Can't believe these fish are so hard to catch. Yeah, that's true. I didn't even think about that. First fish of the day, about time. First cast, that wackier. If you guys are wondering what worm I'm using, just a regular Gary Yamamoto Cinco. You don't have to go with these, you can go with Yum Dingers, something that's a little more inexpensive. Um, these do tear up a lot, but they're really great soft plastics. Let's get back in there, see if we can catch another one. number two little guy wacky rig again these guys are just slow out here <laughs> i want to go grab another gopro battery hopefully i have one i think i got one more small one again god this one's tiny How tiny that one is, how ridiculous. <laughs> you got him? There you go. <laughs> that worm? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> a little dinker. You got him on that worm? Yeah, definitely not fishing. Another one. Did you see that? Oh my god. First I watched him eat it and I hooked said he came all the way out of the water. He never touched the water. He went right up on the bank. <laughs> what? Dude, there ain't no way that just killed that fish. 
tell me how I killed that fish. Did I do anything wrong? I hooked at him literally. I hooked him in the mouth too. Dude, I, I oh there he goes. Look. I knocked him out or something. Look, he's having like a seizure or something, dude. How the heck did that hurt him? I'm so confused. I didn't do anything to hurt that fish. I just I flipped in there, caught him, and then released him. All right, guys, just got off the pond over here with Josh, um, Bass Info TV. Go give him a subscribe. You know, he's been doing this for a while. And uh, I actually knew, when did I meet you, like two years ago? Two I met him two years ago at uh, Bassmaster Classic and I checked out his YouTube. So ever since I've been kind of watching what he's doing. So go give him a subscribe. He's been doing it for a while. But thank you guys so much for watching this part of the video. I'm probably gonna add a little bit of vlog footage. I'll probably um, go back home. We'll go do a lot of stuff. But that's enough for the pond fishing around here for right now. I got a lot of work to do. So let's go ahead and get at it. So guys, I actually got home not too long ago, took a shower, shaved my beard so it don't look like a hobo no more because I got to the point, I mean I was in my sixth stage, I just let this bad boy, ooh it look weird, I look like a hobo. So what we're about to do right now, I got a lot planned today, I have a lot to do, but first I want to show you something, look at how nice it is out here. God look how beautiful it is outside. So what we're doing right now, I have a lot of projects due Monday, so I can explain more in the car when it's more easy access because I really need to get there, but I have a lot to do. We're actually about to go downtown. I really want to do some more fishing today and also I have to hit the gym. I have to do a lot of projects and I have to do a video and I have to do a lot of stuff. So I'm very, very packed so trying to plan everything out and what I'm going to be doing. I really want to do some more fishing today. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get to that, but I guess we'll see. But let's go ahead and hop in the car. Actually, before we hop in the car, I'd like to talk about something real quick. That that fish that I caught at the lake that ended up dying so honestly I think he ended up surviving but it was the weirdest thing ever you know I saw a fish and I flipped in there with my wacky rig I let him eat it hook set I literally hook set so hard that the fish literally jumped out of came out of the water onto the shore he was jumping for a second I unhooked him threw him back in the water and he was just done it's like I literally knocked him out I don't know what I did I don't know if I just gave him a heart attack or like I, the, the it was literally just hooked in his lip it wasn't hooked in his throat nothing it's just on his lip i don't know if i just scared the fish so bad it knocked him out or i gave him a heart attack i don't know and that honestly like yeah it's funny and all but i hate that like i, I haven't killed a fish i can tell you how long i haven't killed a fish and for it to be over some stupid reason like that and he was kind of starting to flutter away but he was just kind of on his side like i hit a nerve or something in him which is kind of crazy but uh Man, that's just sad. Funny and sad at the same time. But I, I just, I hate, I like, I haven't killed a fish in forever. And I hate that that fish died. Or knowing that he's actually injured. I hate that. I hate that. But let's go ahead and get on with the day. Sunglasses. Keys. Shoes are on my feet. Ready to go. As you guys know, I love to promote, you know, grind every single day, strive to be the best that you can be at everything that you're doing. I think it is very important and I think it is awesome to put 150% effort at everything that you're doing in your life. And I think that's just awesome. And I promote that so much because I think it's so crucial and I think it's so valuable. I think it's amazing. I think when I speak that information and uh, repeat it multiple times, I think it's more valuable than any information on my channel. Me personally, if I could say one thing about this weekend is definitely going to be a grind today is saturday you guys are watching this video on sunday i have so much going on it is ridiculous i have um as you guys know strive to be the best you could be at everything which includes you know my grades in school um i believe that's very important i think going to school is very important and um i feel like people don't pro promote that enough um, and I think going to college is very important after high school. You know, I know so many people who didn't go to college and you know, that's their thing. But me personally, I think, I think it's awesome to go to college, have a backup plan just in case something fails. And uh, I think it'd be awesome. And uh, you can strive to have an awesome job or have your dream job one day or chase whatever you want to chase. I think that's awesome. And um, as you guys know, I, I, I don't like to take anything lower than an A in school. Uh, I won't 
like I won't accept it. I feel like if I got a B, then that's not good enough. So that's been my mindset lately. And one of my teachers, I have all A's right now and I have one B and it's like an 80, it's almost an 88. So my teacher um, is so hard to get an A on a project in her class. I uh, pretty much got all like 86's on almost every single project. And I pulled her aside and talked to her and I said, we, she, she allows us to redo every project. Well, every project's due this Wednesday, but I wanna get them all done by Monday. So I, I went up to her and I said, I wanna redo every project. Can you tell me what I did wrong on them? Even though I think the projects, this is just me talking, I, I did what I needed to do for the project and I deserved you know, a better grade. So I talked to her, I said, I'm gonna redo every single one. She said, no, you won't. I said, no, I said, you watch me, I will. She's like, you want a chance to do Wednesday? I said, okay. I was like, I'm gonna get it done. That's what I said. I said, I'm gonna get the job done. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm about to work on some of that stuff for my project. I'm gonna go downtown, take a little bit of photos for a photo project. I got around eight projects due Monday. So it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be a grind this weekend. It's gonna be pretty crazy. We're just gonna be pounding it out. Thank God I'm over the sickness <clears throat> today. I mean, there's still, there's still stuff all up in me. And uh, my voice is a little bit different, but I feel like a whole new person um, rather than like yesterday. I, I did not feel the best. Thursday, I literally felt so bad that I couldn't even get out of my bed. And I, I was getting really aggravated and pissed off because I'm the type of person that's a go, go, go person. And when I physically couldn't go, 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 and I knew that something was holding me back, I couldn't take it. And I got aggravated. So today, we're going to grind some stuff out. Motorsport, yeah. put that thing in sports. Shout it back, pop it like a court. Pop it, you a dork. Never been a sport. Pull up, jumping out the court. Cotton candy, my cup tastes like the fair. Straight up there, we didn't take the stairs. About to go do some work. Just parked my truck. All right, Savannah is an awesome area. If you guys want to come check out Savannah, it's you know it's pretty cool. It's different. It's a city, city type stuff. Well, my truck is not like the best thing to be driving around here. I'm just saying. So uh, that's actually why I moved out away from Savannah. So when I come to class, I'm only down here for just a tidbit of time. So for me, parking my truck right here, I had the hardest time going around this little parking lot right here. Went in right over here and I was like stuck literally right there. So I was like trying to get through and like, yeah, now I ended up right here. So we're, we're straight right here. Yeah, we're good. Well, skinny boy. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you used it? Ooh. You saw that too, didn't you? All right, guys, I'd like to end the video off here, but before you guys click off this video right now, I want you to pause and listen to me for a few minutes because I want to harp on something, and this is the most valuable part of this video. I just want to talk about something. So. Today's been a long day. <clears throat> I didn't get everything I wanted to get done, sadly. I did get a lot done, but it was more for just the video, you know. I got a lot of done the lot done for the video. And that's good and all, but I really wanted to work on some other things that I didn't get to. Yes, I did get a lot of other work done, but then again, it's 10 o'clock right now. I have the rest of the night to, you know, get a lot of stuff done if I, if I have to and uh, focus on some things. I still got all day tomorrow as well, so that's always a plus. And um, just keeping it positive. And I just want to talk about something. When I was sick, that day that I couldn't get out of bed, you know, I was sitting there literally physically, physically, just like not mentally and just not being lazy. I physically could not get out of my bed and go do stuff. Like I was literally that, just that sick. And when I stood up, I was about to fall. It just wasn't going to happen. And I'm the type of person when it comes to sickness, like I'm still like, up and doing my thing you know I'm still wanting to go train and hit the gym and eat right you know that that was no okay case that day and it really put something on my mind that you know we should never take anything for granted and you know I, I was just sitting there knowing that I physically couldn't do something and it was horrible so like every single day we're so lucky you know there's there's people and I'm not just talking about you know older folks I'm talking about people even our age that are going through crazy stuff even people that you know are going through cancer and just it's, it's crazy and 
and they're trapped, you know, they can't do anything, they're sick, problems, and I want everyone, everyone here to just take advantage of every single minute, of every single day, and just be the best that you can be and apply it towards something. I know a lot of you guys are younger, your younger audience, it's going to be really hard, and it might be hard for most of you guys to pick up on what I'm saying, but I'm just speaking valuable stuff that's going to help day to day, and it's going to help you for the rest of your life, because I've changed my mindset on everything, and I've, I'm living so much better, and everything's been amazing, my life's been great, um, it's, it's, of course it's stressful every single day, um, but my life's been amazing, and I'm enjoying every single moment of it and enjoying the process and enjoying the grind and enjoying the pain and enjoying every single little bit and piece to it and I want you guys just to apply everything and be a good well-rounded person towards everything you should never be bored never there should not be one time that you guys are bored because you guys should be applying it towards something I couldn't tell you the last time I've been bored in like five years because I've had something to apply myself towards go apply yourself towards something that you're passionate about apply yourself towards something that you love doing you're not all gonna know what your passion is quite yet and it might take you 10 more years to even know what your passion is but work towards something and your passion will finally peek through and when you find your passion you'll know it and apply yourself towards it but go I'm not talking about tomorrow I'm talking about today go apply yourself towards something that's gonna make you a productive person 10 years from now apply yourself towards something that you love apply yourself towards something that it's going to get you a long way in life and something that you're going to enjoy and you know you're putting in the work for. And just go do that right now, guys. I know it's a Sunday. I know you guys want to relax. I know you guys have to go to church and you have to do all this. But after you relax and go to church and do your thing, guys, just put in the work. Start grinding. Just put in the work. Put in the time. Be a well-rounded person. You know, this is just an example. Think about a report card. See, I, see, I set a report card here. Note this is an example. This isn't about grades whatsoever. But if I had a report card that had an A and two Fs, and I had one that had three Bs, guess guess which one's better? The one with three Bs, the one that's consistent, the one that's well-rounded. Being a well-rounded person is very important in all aspects of life. Like I said, that's just an example with the report cards. But that's, that's kind of putting the visual in your head and being well-rounded and being great at everything that you're doing. You know, I'm going to the gym every single day because that's a commitment. I told my teacher the other day I'm going to redo six of these projects, so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it. I'm owning up to my word. I'm going to hand them to her, and she's going to be impressed, I promise you, because I'm going to bring the best work that I can because I won't let anyone outwork me in that class. The tournament last weekend, there's not one person who outworked me in that tournament. There's people. There's tons of people that beat me. They did not outwork me, I promise you. And you can ask the kid that fish with me because he knows how hard we work towards that tournament. Everything is supply yourself 100%, guys. 100% and be a well-rounded person and it gets you far. But thank you guys so much for watching. I don't want to rant any longer. I don't want to make this video super long. But thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. Be sure to like this video, comment below, share it with a friend, and also subscribe. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah. Put that thing in sports. Shout it bad. Pop a like a court. Pop it. You a dork. Never been. Jumping out the court, cotton candy, my cup tastes like the fair.